Hey everyone, um, so I just wanted to share with you my example of the essay that I wrote for um, This I Believe. And um, my essay ended up being 418 words. Yours only has to be 200, so it's half of this. This isn't even a full page, okay? Um, and my essay is called Put That Grocery Cart Back, which you're probably thinking is really small and strange and like of all the things that I could believe in, why would you write about putting your sharp shopping cart back? Like there are so many other things greater in the world to be writing about and you're right, but you don't have to write about some big idea or some super controversial topic. You can write about something super simple that maybe it just like bugs you when people don't do a certain thing. For me, it really bothers me when people don't put their grocery carts back because it actually, to me, leads me to believe or like get really upset with just people in general and I don't like that. So I decided to write a short essay about this um, so follow along with me as I read it aloud to you. If you decide to Zoom with me this week and read your This I Believe essay aloud to me over Zoom, I'm going to give you some extra credit. So there's some way that you can earn some extra credit for this course. So um, hop onto the Zoom, click the link, and uh, get some extra credit while you're at, while you're at it, while you um, write your essay. Okay. I believe that we should leave a place better than we found it, and if we can't leave it better, we should at least not make a mess of things. All too often when I go to the grocery store, Target, or, or Walmart, I see a parking lot full of abandoned shopping carts. Sometimes parking spots are left unavailable because people have parked their shop shopping carts there instead. I've seen cars back into carts, and I've even seen the occasional and dreaded door ding from a shopping cart on the loose that has run into a parked car. When I see these loose carts in par parking lots, I will take one inside with me and try to leave one less abandoned cart in the lot. On the way in, I'll always try to make up some story in my head of why someone before me would just leave this cart instead of walking the 10 feet or so it would take to put it back where it's supposed to be, tucked away safely with its cart family and out of harm's way. Maybe this person got a life-altering phone call with some emergency and had to leave right away. Maybe this person felt very ill and had to leave immediately. Maybe this person is handicapped and didn't have the energy or ability to put this cart away. These reasons seem good enough for a person to leave his or her cart out in the parking lot, but there's still one problem. I would imagine that 99% of abandoned shopping carts are not abandoned due to emergency. They are abandoned due to laziness and lack of respect for others. I like to believe that people are inherently good but I will never understand those that choose to, to not leave a place in the same condition they found it, or better. It bothers me when people have a that's not my job mentality, or someone else will pick it up. If everyone had that mentality in our world, what kind of world would we be living in? Pick up your trash and the trash of others if they accidentally leave it behind. Replace that burnout light bulb before someone else realizes it's burnt out. Wash your dishes. Your mom is not your servant. Take out the trash instead of piling on top of it until someone else takes it out. And always, always, always put that shopping cart back. Okay, so that is my essay. Short and sweet. Mine is, you can see down here how many words it is. 418 words. Yours is just half of that. You can make it as long as mine. You can make it longer than mine, but it only has to be 200 words. If you want to Zoom with me when you're finished, just pop into my Zoom any morning this week from 8 to 11.45 and read it out loud to me. And because that's what they do on the website, right? For many of the essays is they're read aloud and recorded. So if you would like to do that for some extra credit, you can get some extra credit points that way. Um, if you would like to just submit the assignment, you can just submit the assignment and be done with it. And you'll still get full credit. You just won't get extra credit. So um, thanks for listening and have fun writing this and let me know if you have questions. Bye.